Hey there, my name is Andrew, and I'm a product training specialist here at Thoroughmore. And today, I wanted to walk through with you some basic controls on your wall open. Here at Thermador, we have three collections, and today we're going to be looking at our professional series. You can easily identify this by having knobs both on the left and right hand side, and a user interface in the middle. Your knob on the left will be all of your cooking and heating modes, and the knob on your right will be all of your temperature settings. First, we'll need to turn your oven off. To do this, take the left hand knob and turn it to any other cooking mode. It doesn't matter which cooking mode you turn it to, as long as it is not placed in the off position. The left knob is where you'll find all of your cooking modes, from classic bake to convection roast and everything in between. If you turn the dial to more modes, this will present you with additional cooking modes to use with your oven. Now with so many new cooking modes today, it can be a little overwhelming, not knowing the difference between bake, convection bake, true convection, but at Thermador, we're here to help you out. So all of our ovens are equipped with an info button. It's basically like having a little chef or use some care manual with you at all times. Very easy and simple to use on all of our cooking and cleaning modes. So for instance, if you don't know what true convection is, you turn your dial and then press the info button. And it reads, uses the back element to circulate and use the convection band for hot air. Best for baking, individual size suits on multiple racks. The right hand knob is gonna be for setting your temperature. As you can imagine, turning that knob will either be increasing or decreasing your wall oven's temperature. You may notice that there is no specific start stop button on your thermometer wall oven. You will know that your mode has been activated and started when the screen turns blue. You also will notice a thin blue bar in the middle of the screen that will start moving left to right. Then you come across our fast preheat setting. Now this only works with five select cooking modes. Bake, convection bake, true convection, convection roast, and roast. What this feature allows you to do is to pretty much preheat your oven faster than average. In order to use this feature, very, very simple to use. All you need to do is select your cooking mode and select your temperature. And once there, your fast preheat will be illuminated. All you have to do is press it and your fast preheat is activated. Next, the timers feature. By pressing timer, this will give you three different options for timers a kitchen timer, an oven timer, and an end up timer. Your kitchen timer does not directly coordinate with your food. It is strictly a timer for your kitchen. So similar to one on your smartphone, it's just keeping track of time. Your oven timer is a little bit different. That does coordinate directly with your food. So as time runs out, it will shut off the oven cavity to avoid overcooking. And finally, you have an end up timer. Now this is great for holiday and large parties or occasions if you want everything to be done at a certain point in time. To use this timer, place your food inside the oven cavity and close the door. Then select your appropriate cooking mode. Finally, in the oven timer, choose how much time it needs to cook. And in the end dot timer, select what time you'd like your food to be finished by. For example, 45 minutes and to be done at 6 p.m. for dinner. Your oven will make sure it turns itself on and be completed at the time you like it to end at. Then you have settings. This can only be accessed when both knobs are in the off position. Once you've made a change, select settings to confirm your change. Now as you scroll through, this is where you can truly customize your Thermador oven to make it your own. The first few options offer you a chance to set the time, select your language, and choose your clock's display and format but you also have the option of increasing or decreasing the volume and sounds. One is off and five is full volume. You can also increase or decrease the brightness of the screen. One is dimmer and five is the brightest. If you and your family are those who observe the Sabbath, this is also where you can turn on and off your Sabbath mode. As you suspect, pressing the light button will easily turn your oven's cavity lighting on and off. And lastly, we have lock. Now, if you're ever trying to clean your user interface or keep your kids from playing with your oven, lock is a really great feature. All you have to do is press it and it locks that screen. To unactivate it, hold down your lock button for about four seconds and it will deactivate and you're ready to use your oven again. Well, thank you for joining us again. I hope this video helps you with your new Thermador wall oven and how to use your oven controls. For a list of everything your oven may need or how to operate perfectly, make sure to keep that use and care manual handy. And you can even download it on Thermador.com.
Until next time, thank you.